Hello and welcome. It's Sunday afternoon football. Anthony Hudson here. A reasonable turnout for this match. And joining me is the former Melbourne skipper. He played 226 games with the Demons, Gary Lyon. Welcome, Gas. Hey, Hanno. Today should be a good match. Today's match, Melbourne and Fort Adelaide. confidence they're looking sharp and the crowd are appreciating it the banners look great as the players get set to run through them it's a big day for the Port Adelaide defenders they can stop Melbourne from being dominant inside 50 they've got a big chance to win this They're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banners are looking great. The captains make their way to the center circle for the coin toss. Port Adelaide kicking to the left of screen. These lineups look very strong, and both teams look fired up and set to go. We're just moments away from the opening bounce. And here we go. It's Melbourne taking on Port Adelaide. Viney dug it out. Picks up the loose ball. McDonald handballs picked off by Lysette. Lobs the handball. A chance to reload the attack now. Bangs it on the boot now. Picking it up was Westhoff. Going for goal number one. Oh, just hits the post. The margin is one. Looking for options now. Gorn plays it to himself. A spearing kick. Melkson cuts it off. Cleverly soccers it off the ground for a goal. Watts loves that goal. They draw first blood. About to resume play. Tap came from Cruz. Oliver slams it onto the boot. Brayshaw with the mark. With a driving kick. Hung over the top. 30 metres from home. Going for goal number one. That one hits the woodwork. Melbourne produced the margin. Searching for a teammate. Mops up the loose ball. Brown kicking to tie it up. Good looking kick off the booth. And it's sailed through. No doubt about it. His teammates rush over. Scores level at the moment. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. The umpire set the bounce to restart the game. And now it winds. He gains possession. A great defensive effort. Cleary making his way onto the field. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? This is a classic game we're seeing right now. Ebert gets the loose ball. Quickly onto the boot. The ball spills to Rockcliffe. Clear free kick. McDonald with a chance if he can keep his cool. 15 metres out. Just couldn't get it to curve enough. 
Melbourne beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of eight to seven. A great mark taken there. Not sure if he has the journey from here. Hung launches towards goal. You can see that happening right after it left his booth. Melbourne by two points. Weighing up the options now. Decides to play on. Goes by foot. Marks in a bit of space. Kicks it out at the fence. A solid mark for both. Moves the ball by foot. Easily takes the mark. McDonald missed an opportunity to mark. Hunt gets the ball out of heavy traffic. Ball rushed over the line. Deciding where to go with the kick in. Plays on. Elects to kick. A race for the loose ball. Gorn won himself a free. So what could Melbourne do with this opportunity in front of goal? This will have to be his very best kick to score from this far. Marks now and can send it back. Uses it by foot. Petrarca takes it well. Bit of an angle for this kick. He goes it alone. Can't take the mark. Hannon kicks an incredible goal off the ground. He acknowledges the crowd. Melbourne have kicked back-to-back -back goals. Now they lead by nine. Great bit of play that resulted in that. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. Back with another centre bounce. Punches it clear. Uses the bump. Viney kicks out of the congestion. Melksum will be upset with that. Melksum unable to hold on. Keeps it alive. Under some pressure. A good job keeping it in play there. He's put it out on the full. Sinks the slipper into it. But wins the foot race. Neil Bullen with a brilliant rundown tackle. Didn't get away from the tackle. Fantastic tackle. He looks like he needs a spell. Found a way to keep balance. The kick goes out on the full from Petrarca. Uses it now. Cleary takes the mark. Uncontested. The ball spills in the tackle. Brown with a chance to light things up. Never on target. And a behind. Ten points the difference. Ready to bring it back into play. Plays onto himself. Got boot to ball. Found space for an easy mark. Looks to move it by foot. Takes the mark all by himself. This will have to be his very best kick to score from this far. Hannon going for number two. Nurses that ball through the big sticks. No doubt about it. He's excited about that one. Melbourne have three in a row. The margin is 16. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. About to resume play. Proust just slaps it down. Fends off the tackler. Fights the good fight. Ball up in the centre square. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? It's a really good contest out there right now, and it's great to watch. Brown clears the contest. The ball bubbling around. The handball hits the target. Marked by May. He drives it. 
Well taken at ground level. Oh, someone's on the ground. Difficult to see him coming back on after that. Chips it towards half forward. McDonald marks and a bit of space. Melbourne have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Couldn't snaffle it with a driving kick. Finds this and marks well. Brace your heads it inside 50. Melbourne have started well and lead at quarter time. Melbourne have come to play. They've got themselves in the game and need to push on now. Here's Gaz to break down the stats. Melbourne have taken charge of the contested ball. It's allowing them to create their scoring opportunities. Thanks for that, Gary. We're ready for second quarter action. Umpire ready to resume play. Thumped by Cruz. Viney just gets it onto the boot. Hunt, hurried kick. Just gets it onto the boot. Finds a target. Hartley has resources out wide. It's marked by Rockcliffe. Puts it on the boot. Jonas with an easy mark. Goes for territory. Doesn't hold onto the mark. Dixon gets right in his face. Outstanding pressure. Releases by hand. Has a man running for him. Drop punt. Finds its way home from Wines. Gets his first. He loved that one. Port Adelaide now only trailed by 10. We resume hostilities. Life set with the punch. A quick handball from Rockcliffe. Dug out by Hannon. Oliver uses his pace. Hits the post. And it's a behind. Once again, they can't convert it to the scoreboard. Melbourne, Cleet, Port Adelaide by 11. Players move as they look to provide an option. Drives the ball out of defence. Doing well to intercept that kick. Oliver pumps it into the 50. Good mark and looks to send it back. Rosie sends one up towards the wing. Petrarca leaps over the top. Melbourne are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Ends up turning this ball over. Had the pressure bearing down. Found a way to keep it alive. The kick goes out on the fall from Neil Bullen. Chose to kick it. Pal Pepper looks to get onto the football. Gets the handball away. Brayshaw quickly onto the boot. We'll get a ball up on the wing. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? This is a classic game we're seeing right now. Petrarca getting a chance for a break. Now we've got a ball up. Gorn won the hit out. Difficult ball control. Rosie coming off for a spell. Gorn with the hit. He takes the shot. Cleary. Bear to mop up. At full stride. Receives the handball. Kicks hurriedly. Well collected. Dug out the loose ball. Harms finds possession. Collects the loose ball. Racking up possessions now. fist to it. Great control there. Just got the hands in the back there. Burn Jones has a great set of hands. Goes by foot. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Harms looks to convert this opportunity. Gets some reward for his efforts. Melbourne. Covert Port Adelaide by 17. Thumps it clear. Is in his possession. Life set. Hacking it out of there. Westock had it, lost us. A big tackle there. Great tackling there, Hutto. Through for a point.
Port Adelaide has dropped more than two goals behind, looking to bring it back into play. He gives chase to the footy. Big tackle. The loose ball picked up. Viney marks. Melbourne have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Tomlinson won himself a free. Moves it by foot. Hibbert did well to win that ball. Melbourne are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Ebert is blowing hard after that effort. Chips it towards half forward. Lyset marks it. It has to be a big kick to get it from there. He decides to go for home. Just leaves them in his wake. Great goal. Nobody can hold on here. Smiles all round. Just two goals in it. We're back in the middle now. Winning it was gone. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? There's some great skills on display right now. It's a great match. Thump clear. The ball in the hands of Melcham. May hangs on to that one. Puts boot to ball. He couldn't hang on. Ebert slick with the hands. Williams was taken high in the tackle. Decides to kick. Strong mark in the contest. Viney with a low spearing kick. Oliver needs a chance to rest. Just releases the handball. May gets on the end of that handball. Finds his man. Manages to get it onto the boot. The loose ball scooped up. Packs it out of there. He takes the mark. Westock sends one up towards the wing. Melbourne just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Wines elects to kick. The ball rolls across the line. Umpire tosses it in. Cruz thrashes it. Clear free. Just put both hands in the back. He drives it towards goal. He bangs it through. Williams wouldn't be happier with that goal. Port Adelaide behind by four. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. It's great to watch Hado. Plenty of excitement. Port Adelaide have struggled to get the ball forward or centre. Look at the inside 50 difference. They're getting well beat. Picks it up. The siren sounds, and that's the end of the term. The scores. Melbourne, 32. Port Adelaide, 26. Melbourne have had a solid first half and will look to show more of the same in the second. Anything you can see, Gary? Melbourne have turned the ball. We're set to go at the start of the third quarter. Cruz thumped it clear. Wines picks up the loose ball, brings it out of the pack, does well to cut off the kick. Melcher driving kick inside 50. He's in charge of the ranking points. He's on fire at the moment. Getting in the way was Hannon. Hunch celebrating hard. The lead is now 10. Back in the middle as the Rucks go at it. Cruz hurls it away. Lysette has an injury. That doesn't look great. Looks unlikely he will see any further action. That's true, Hutto. Clumsy tackle results in a free kick. Westock going for number one. That kick has missed everything. He puts it out of bounds on the full. Goes with the kick. Burgoyne controlling the airwaves on this occasion. 40 metres out. You'd expect this one to sail through the middle. Can he put it through? Okay. 
Port Adelaide reduce the margin, unsure of their next move, using every ounce of energy he has left. A strong mark in the pack from Oliver. Slams it on the boot. Gone. Couldn't snaffle it. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. He's barely touched the ball lately. Pal Pepper earns a free kick. He likes his chances from here. What a kick. And he puts it through. That will settle the nerves. Gets his first on the board. They get around him after that effort. We're back in motion. Thrashes it. He's got the football now. Doesn't hold on to the mark. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. You're right, Hutto. He's gone missing lately. Can't take the mark. Charges with intent. Puts on a bump. Just gets a boot to it. Hannon goes for it now. Just a few points the difference. Searching for a teammate. Plays on. Looks up with the kick. Great mark. That's a thumping kick. Intercepts the ball well. Gorn has resources out wide. It's cut off by Melcham. Handball finds Petrarca. Slams it onto the boot. The mark is taken by Westoff. Westoff just threw it. Moved on by May. A chance to gather the ball. We'll have another ball up. It's a very tight game right now. Brown thumps it clear. Hartler gathers it now. Coaches love to see that kind of tackling pressure. Touched across the line. Teammates break for him. Ends up marking uncontested. Moves it by foot. Marked by Pal Pepper. Goes by foot. Rosie failing to get near it, Gaz. Yeah, he's barely touched the ball, Hunter. Fantastic pressure there. Gets a quick kick away. Going for goal number one. He's excited about that one. The lead is now 11. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. He did really well there and gets the reward. Melbourne are gaining a lot of their advantage through some smart kicks and even better marking inside their forward 50. Jetta drops the mark, scoops it up, handballs under pressure, links with hands. He wins possession. Ebert just manages to release the kick. Well picked up. Not happy with that kick as it goes out on the full. Burgoyne sets his sights on the goals. 25 metres out. A goal from this spot is unlikely, but it is possible. You're right, Hutto. Going for goal number one. Port Adelaide close the gap to 10. Lever with the responsibility of kicking it in. Looks to move it by foot. McDonald dug out the loose ball. Doing well was Brown. It's a turnover. Manufactures the handball. He can take off after that handball. Hannon just threw it. Marks now and can send it back. Uses it now. Cleary leading the race to the loose ball. Takes that one strongly. 40 metres from home. This shouldn't be too difficult for Neil Bullen. Going for goal number two. He slots this one. A big goal there. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. The Demons could kick back-to-back -back goals. The margin is 16. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. That's a really good team goal. Melbourne getting plenty of possessions at the moment. Punched away. Goes for territory. Off the deck. 
A poorly executed tackle there. Motlock uses it by foot. Off hands from Hunt. Intercepted. Always look like you're behind. Melbourne doing well at the moment, considering the options on the kick in. Neil Ball and Kazit. Might be too far out to score. Already kicked a couple of goals. This for number three. Neil Buller getting the crowd involved. Melbourne, but 23. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. When the forwards are marking the ball so cleanly inside 50 like they are now, it must give Melbourne a lot of confidence, especially when the pressure is on. 60 metres out. Melcher going for number one. The drop part goes straight between the big sticks. That pushes the lead further out. Drops the mark. Celebrating hard. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. That's a really good team, though. Center bounce. Brown with a big fist on it. Pal Pepper made the tricky bounce look easy. Couldn't snaffle it. Gathers it now. Tomlinson just dismisses Watts. Jones looks in the Melbourne leading by 29 as we go to the final turn. Melbourne will want to keep the foot on the accelerator and finish this last quarter strongly. What stands out for you, Gaz? Melbourne are controlling the possession and they're using that control to hit the scoreboard. Thanks. Last quarter action, ready to go. Can't afford any mistakes from here. They have to be perfect. Ball gets cut off. Rockcliffe goes for territory. Pal Pepper soccers it forward. Picked up now. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? There's not enough effort out there at the minute. Hartlett collects the loose ball. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Ten metres out. That is a stunning goal. Look at them celebrate that effort. About to resume hostilities. Big thump from Lysette. Rockcliffe can link up through hands. The ball finds itself to the boundary. Thrown in now. Clears the contest. He has the ball. Great attack on the ball carrier. Movement by hand. Burn Jones collects it. Finding the loose ball was Neil Bullen. Now we will get a ball up. Punched away. Handball's out in front. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. 50 metres out, McDonald with an opportunity for goal. 45 degree angle. If they just maintain position and hold onto the ball for a moment, they should be able to hold on here. Melbourne increasing the lead to four goals. The umpire will ping him for deliberate. Melbourne fans would love to see this one sail through. 45 metres out, really sharp angle. Might be worth passing it to a teammate in a better position. I agree with you there, Hutto. Melchon misses everything with that kick. He's kicked it out on the full. He drives it. 
Takes a nice mark. Got boot to ball. Picked off the deck. Neil Bullen collects it. He gives it a ride. No issues with that drop punt. Congratulated by his teammates. Melbourne starting to exert some dominance now. They lead 70 to 40. One down. Finds the loose ball. Dug it out. Sweeping handball. Cleary kicks hurriedly. Hibbert uses the body well. Tries to gain some territory. Winds with the intercept. Brilliant tackle and wins it. Didn't get away from that tackle. Beautiful tackle, Hutto. Fans crossing their fingers, hoping he can put this one through the big sticks. Move it on. Brace your going for number one. The drop punt goes straight between the big sticks. Pretty happy with that one. Melbourne, 76, lead Port Adelaide. Four. Back in the middle. Taps it down. Fighting hard was Power Pepper. Releases the handball. Good body work to win the mark. <laughs> West off going for number one. Offline from behind. Margin in a really tricky situation. Gorn plays on. Kick goes astray and it's out on the full. Good opportunity for Port Adelaide to put a goal through here. 25 metres out. It'll take something special to kick a goal from here. That's true, Hutto. Hartlett might have overworked himself there. That ball comes off the post. I would have loved to get that one. Port Adelaide still a fair way back here. Gorn to bring it in. Couldn't complete the mark. Hit the man hard. The drop part sails between the big sticks. Burgoyne loves that goal. Port Adelaide behind by 28. The game is back underway. Gorn gets onto the ball. Just manages to release the kick. Dixon takes it strongly. Melbourne just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Going for goal number one. A chance to reload the attack now. Kick by Lever. They can create from this. McDonald heads onto the ground. The umpire calls for it. What can you tell us, Gaz? I'm waiting for something to change the way this game is going right now. That doesn't look good. He must be injured. That doesn't look good. I don't think he'll be coming back. Wins the race to the ball. Terrific mark there. Viney clears the ball from the contest. Sinks the slipper into it. Takes it well. Puts it on the boot. Out of bounds, right on the 50. The ball is coming back into play. Thump clear. Taken by Hannon. He flicks it over. Hunt looking to put through another goal. Now they lead by 29. Players move as they look to provide an option. Great mark in the pack. Melbourne haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Spent that one before he earned it. Salem love kicking that one. Melbourne, you're in control of this game. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. This is how they can score, Big Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. We're back in the middle to resume play. Punches are clear. Puts on a big hit. Slick with the hands. At full stride, receives the handball. It's going to be close. Dixon can celebrate however he likes after a goal like that and delivers with a desperately needed goal. He's enjoying that goal. 
We resume hostilities. Swatson has it now. Got the hands free. McDonald will be the recipient of the free. Cuts the kick in board. Hibbert over the top. Moves the ball by foot. Neil Bourne marks uncontested. Slams it on the boot. Ends up turning this ball over. Needs a bit of a rest. Burton kicks it. The ball finds Harms. Puts boot to ball. A clean pickup. Unfortunately for Port Adelaide, today was not their day. Well, Gaz, how did you see that match play out? Melbourne grew up to the challenge of the key moments, and that's why they got themselves into a winning position. Thanks for that. The team we love, the team of the red and the blue. Every heart beats true for the red and the blue. And we sing this song to you. Final scores are 12, 11, 83. Today, 6, 54. That's all for today. On behalf of myself and Gary Lyon, thanks for joining us. We'll see you again soon. It was great to be here, Hutto. I'll be back next time. Sing this song to you.